Hi everyone, I'm Vincent from Card Hour and today I have 4 cards that keep trending up. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon in order to get notified whenever I release a new soccer or soccer card video. The Nations League is in full swing and we're like two weeks away from most competitions returning. This means that we're seeing cards that have dropped in price go back up along with new names that keep getting more love. Now without further ado, let's take a look at this week's list. The first one is a 2018 Topps Chrome Joao Felix base raw. Joao Felix is a 20-year-old center forward for both Atletico Madrid and the Portuguese national team. Joao Felix played for Benfica before making his 126 million euro move to La Liga, but has been a bit underwhelming to say the least. Last season he scored 9 goals and gave 3 assists in 36 games, which isn't all that exciting. Of course, it's his first season in a new country, a new club and a new environment, but most people expected a little bit more from a 126 million euro transfer. Right now he's playing in the Nations League with Portugal and has been playing pretty decent. Even though they won 4-1 to Croatia, he still was one of the lowest ranked players on the Portuguese team that game. He did score a goal, which is basically what he's there for. In terms of his card price, they have been going up and down over the last month. It dipped pretty significantly around the 26th of August but has been trending back up since. Just a couple of days ago, his card price went back up to the highest point it has been since the 13th of June, which for me indicates that this card will hold and might even go up more towards the new season and the Euros. Card number 2 is actually a sticker and it's a 2006 World Cup sticker from Lionel Messi. I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now who Messi is, but for those who are fairly new, Messi is a right winger for La Liga team FC Barcelona. Messi doesn't feature in the Nations League or Euros because of his nationality, so you need to wait until La Liga returns or the World Cup to see him in action for his country. That being said, I'm very happy to be able to put this one in the list because it's a sticker. People seem to consider buying stickers that hold an actual meaning over a 5th, 7th or even 11th year card just because of a brand. So why would you buy his 2006 sticker? In 2006, Messi featured in his first World Cup, the exact same one, where Ronaldo made his World Cup debut. That World Cup was hosted by Germany, with Italy winning the entire tournament. Messi and Argentina got knocked out in the quarterfinals after losing to Germany on penalties. Messi ended up scoring one goal while giving one assist in 16 minutes of play against Serbia. The reason why I think this sticker is so valuable is because it's extremely hard to get it in good condition. At the moment of recording, the PSA pop report sits at 29, with only 3 of them being a PSA 10. There are 10 PSA 9s, 8 PSA 8s, with all the others being PSA 7 or lower. On the 10th of August, a PSA 9 got sold for $275, which would now be considered a steal, considering the fact that the Rouse sticker now goes for around $50 to $60. I'm pretty sure that the price of his sticker is going to go back to the $100 point as soon as Messi starts scoring goals again. Next to last is a 2018 Dunruss Optic Alfonso Davis base raw. Alfonso Davis is a 19 year old left back from Bundesliga team Bayern Munich. Davis was part of the Bayern team that won the Champions League 3 weeks ago and has gained a lot of momentum ever since. The week leading up to the final, his Optic base cards jumped from $35 to over $100, but then came back down to $65, which became the point where his price always goes back to when it drops or starts to climb. Davis saw a dip in price, but the lowest point was still higher than before the cards start to climb, meaning I'm pretty convinced that his card price is going to hold. And the last one for today is the 2018 World Cup Prism Leroy Sané base raw. Leroy Sané is a 24-year-old left-winger that recently made his move to Bundesliga giant Bayern Munich. Sané had a pretty good 2018-2019 season before missing entire last season due to a ligament rupture. The good news is that he has been playing for Germany in the Nations League, but is still missing a lot of game rhythm. He played 62 minutes in their first one all draw against Spain and had to leave the field one minute into the second half in their one all draw against Switzerland. It's clear that he still needs some time to get back into shape, but I'm pretty sure that as soon as he is 100% fit and he gets some minute at Bayern Munich, a lot of people are going to love him. That being said, the price of his 2018 World Cup Prism has been going up again. You can see two serious dips, but it gives me hope to see that in the last 7 days his price hasn't dropped too much and is pretty stable right now. Sané is still one of the exciting, skillful youngsters that will play for Germany in the next 10 years, so as soon as he can get back to his normal self, expect to see great things from him. So, these were 4 players that are going up in price and understandably so. 
I think it's not gonna be long before more players are going to see an increase in price and go up to the same point or even higher as before the dip. Now, my question for you guys today, who do you think is gonna have an amazing season in the Premier League and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon in order to get notified whenever I release a new soccer or soccer card video. So, this was me for today. As always, thanks for watching, stay healthy, stay safe, and remember, it's always time to collect. <laughs>